Hi everyone, as part of my Go Green series, every month or every fortnight uh, from now on, I would be reviewing a, a natural or organic product range and I would be introducing you to that range and talking about its product and uh, this I'm doing because uh, I feel that we all should start using natural and organic products for our skincare and as well as possible for our makeup as well because that's good for us that's good for our skin and body and also good for the environment i have already done one uh, product review of omve the naturals which i will link on this screen uh, today uh, the brand that i'm reviewing is khadi khadi uh, gramodyog uh, is uh, a natural and organic brand which manufactures mostly skincare and hair care products i will be linking down their site below as well but uh, all of their products are available on amazon and flipkart and you must check from your nearby store they will be available there as well uh, so i'll be uh, talking about a range of products from khadi today first thing that i'm talking about is the khadi uh, rose water this is the pure rose water all of the khadi products come in this plastic kind of bottle with this glass kind of packaging and this nozzle so it's very easy if you have uh, taken excess product you can pour it uh, Uh, otherwise as well and this is the pure rose water this is paraben free and these days currently i'm using this rose water or i uh, use kama ayurveda or home manufactured uh, uh, rose water that i make at home so uh, this i ha i would say like uh, after Kam kama ayurveda this is the best rose water that i've come across uh, it's very very light on the skin and uh, you can use it like uh, as an everyday toner uh, also you can use it in face packs and uh, definitely because it's paraben free it's uh, my it's my pick for the day uh, it is 210 ml is for 80 rupees so it's pretty economical as well so you can give this rose water a try for sure uh, next i would be talking about their uh, aloe vera gel so this is the aloe vera gel that i'm currently using i also have an aloe vera plant at home so at times i use this gel or i use freshly cut aloe vera uh, now the freshly cut aloe vera does not have any smell this has a particular smell which is very pleasant so this is aloe vera gel with licorice and cucumber extracts this is the bottle i guess the color is not uh, natural it is artificial color used but otherwise the other things are uh, very very much natural and uh, the smell the smell is pretty pretty good of this one of this uh, gel this is the kind of consistency that it comes in now aloe vera gel has like a lot and a lot of advantages especially for girls like us uh, with oily skin and with dry hair so i use uh, like i'll just uh, take 2 minutes to talk about the benefits of aloe vera as well firstly you can use it as a night cream or uh, uh, an eye under eye cream uh, especially if you have oily skin because this is very very light on the skin secondly i also use it as a leave in conditioner on days when i'm running late for office but i have frizzy hair and i do not have time to wash my hair i use this uh, you know i use a dry shampoo and then i use uh, this to condition my hair and it tames the frizz then i also put it in uh, my face packs like uh, because uh, it uh, provides that uh, goodness of aloe vera which uh, it surely has and uh, fourthly uh, a benefit that honey or anubhuti my sister told me is that uh, it uh, if you put the aloe vera gel on the pimple marks uh, it reduces the pimple marks a lot uh, it this tip has not worked much for me but it works for her and i've seen it working for a lot of people so this is also that is also like one use of aloe vera and the fifth use uh, that i have is uh, you can mix it with water rose water or uh, purified water and uh, make uh, like a mist of it and store it in a storage bottle a spray bottle and use it and it's like the cheapest face mist that you can uh, have so this is 180 bucks uh, for uh, i don't know 200 grams so this is 180 bucks for 200 grams pretty economical this one as well next i would be talking about their herbal massage oil which is in the flavor lavender and yang yang this is for relaxing their mind and body so uh, i am a very avid user of lavender oil because i have sleep issues and of course with work comes stress so you have stress stress issues as well this ha this smells very very this has a very very cute lavender smell and as you can see this the packaging is very similar to the rose water packaging plastic bottle and a nozzle like this so uh, this uh, this oil is extremely extremely light you can use it uh, in the morning as well on your temples or you can you know give yourself a mo body massage let's say on a holiday or something and also you can use it as a hair oil this is sls free and paraben free 210 ml retails for 280 bucks 
I guess this is the cheapest lavender oil uh, which uh, I've seen in the market because the next cheapest was uh, I guess Fab India which was a small bottle, I guess a 100ml bottle was for 450 bucks. So this is the cheapest lavender oil. Provides similar benefits. I use it mostly at night on my temples just before sleeping. So I like this product as well. Next, I would be talking about the shampoo and conditioner duos. So the shampoo is uh, the herbal shampoo with honey and almond oil. And the conditioner is orange and lemongrass conditioner. Now, both of these uh, uh, products from the Khadi range are for dry and damaged hair, which I have. So it says that it will, re will restore vitality, make hair lustrous, soft and manageable. And it definitely does that. But I would say both for the conditioner and uh, the conditioner says it is a wonderful moisturizer that revitalizes and strengthens damaged hair. Now, uh, both this shampoo and conditioner duo, uh, the, these of course uh, are very very good for the hair, like I have used it uh, many times, this, this is the second bottle that I have, but I'm not a regular at them because uh, my hairstylist told me that all the natural products, if you will use them on your hair, they'll dry out uh, your hair a little. So even with the conditioner, it does dry out the hair a little and uh, the problem that I have, it gives me this benefit, it gives, uh, makes my hair soft and lustrous. But uh, the soft and lustrous hair do not last for long. Maybe because it's natural, so it's giving you know benefits in a. It'll give benefits in a longer uh, run and not in the shorter run. But let's say uh, if I've used it in the morning, uh, the next morning my hair will be back to normal. Uh, but uh, I mostly wash my hair alternate days. That's why I need the benefit to last a little longer. But both this shampoo and this conditioner work really, really well. If you can wash your hair every day, this I guess is the best pick for you because it is uh, free from chemicals, of course. Whenever I use conditioner on my hair, I'm like very, very wary that uh, it has a lot of chemicals. But thankfully, this is a conditioner which does not have any chemicals. And both of them have a very sweet smell. This actually smells of honey. And this is a perfect smell for summer of lemongrass. And also, I guess it has orange oil. So it smells a little of oranges as well. So this is a, this is a shampoo and conditioner duo. Price for 200ml, the conditioner is for 140 And uh, for 200ml, conditioner is again for 140 Next, I have some essential oil soaps from Khadi. So I've tried three soaps uh, till now. They had a one-on-one -on -one free offer on Amazon running some time back, which is when I took all these three or all these six soaps. So I'll be talking a little about them. The base, most basic one is the Khadi Aloe Vera Soap. So this retails for 65 uh, rupees for 125 grams. A uh, basic plastic packaging with a, uh, with a paper cover. Uh, it's very very good especially for summers because it gives a very very fresh aloe vera and lemon kind of a smell I guess yes it has lemon also in it. it gives a very nice aloe vera kind of a smell and because of the jojoba oil that it has uh, it uh, works very very well for the skin as well I mostly use char gels but these days because the herbal companies mostly manufacture soaps only that's why I'm into using soaps again so this is one thing that I really liked uh, the second one that I'll be talking about is the uh, honey and glycerin soap this has uh, the proposition is very similar to pears uh, so if you're a pears user you would really like it it is very very good to use in let's say november and december like december january that kind of weather the uh, like uh, the very very cold weather uh, it's very very soft on the skin i would say uh, in in the winters like uh, the smell uh, is uh, rather in the summers the smell is not the most desirable smell the honey smell because it uh, feels a little heavy on the skin the smell as well but uh, because of its uh, high proportion of glycerin, this soap is really, really ideal in summer, uh, in uh, winters. And especially if you're a Pears user, you should definitely try it. Price is 70 bucks for 125 grams. And uh, this is being my favorite, of course, it's lavender and lavender being my favorite scent. This is pure lavender soap. This uh, is also 70 bucks for 125 uh, gram. This smells like, uh, I can still smell it. It's very, it has a very, very strong uh, smell of lavender. So uh, if you uh, are habitual of having bath at night, I would re strongly recommend you to try this soap because this is going to uh, regularize your sleep patterns very very well because uh, the smell of lavender that it ha has like will give you a full lavender smell and because like uh, you would uh, bathe uh, in lavender, you would have a very very good sleep. Like you use this soap and use this uh, oil on uh, yourself, I guess you'll have a very very good baby sleep. So these were, these, this was my uh, review of the Khadi products. I've used these many products from Khadi. Do let me know if you've tried any of the Khadi products and how you liked it. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye.